Next weekend, cocktail hour, the show returns to the Imperial Theater. Artistic director Marilyn Klaus joined me recently to share more about what you can expect. Marilyn, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. This is really fun. Nice to speak with you. And this, I think this is going to be so exciting. So, Ballet is with a twist. Tell us a little bit more about that and what makes it stand out in the world of dance and performance. Um, Ballets with a Twist is a classical company. Um, we dance to all types of music and we have a, sort of a pop appeal. Um, our show that we're known for is Cocktail Hour and all of the pieces are short vignettes that emphasize cultural cocktails. For instance, for our return to the Imperial Theater, um, we were there in 2019 for their 100th anniversary, which was extremely exciting. And now, as you mentioned, we're bringing back an all new program that's Halloween inspired, a spooky show. And we start off um, the show with Zombie. And uh, Zombie is a mixture of a lot of different types of rum. But what we're referring to is what happens when people move to Hollywood and their souls are stolen from them. Wow. Type of thing. <laughs> yeah, but it's a, it's it's a, like a sci-fi pool splash, really glamorous 60s feel. And there's a young teenager at home and she's home alone. And this, there's a home invasion of zombies. What made you come up with this concept for this particular show? Well, um, I'm, I am originally from California, and so I, my parents were avid jazz lovers and uh, ballroom dancers, and I would always watch them uh, when they would have parties at home. Um, and it's really inspired me, and, and I started dancing as a result. But then I always really liked Busby Berkeley and <clears throat> all the old films with uh, Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers and Gene Kelly. And I thought, why can't we have that flavor in ballet? Why can't we have a real uh, entertainment nightclub feel uh, when people want to go out for a night on the town? And so that was really my inspiration, is sort of a, a post-World War II uh, glamour, entertainment uh, kind of a feel. Um, and it's it's done well for us. Uh, a lot of the venues we tour to around the United States, it brings dance back to, to their audience who maybe have seen one too many Swan Lakes or one too many Crackers. And, they, and so they go, oh, let, let's try this. And in a lot of the venues, they even serve the drinks that um, where, that they they see on stage, and I know at the Imperial, um, they will be doing that, which is kind of kind of really fun. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it sounds good to me. So, what do you hope the viewer of this play or this production would take away from it? One thing we really strive for as a company is to reach out across the lights and kind of grab the audience. Um, Every dance, though they are about, you know, fancy mixed beverages, every dance has a historical element. So as I had mentioned, the, the zombie takes us to 60s um, Hollywood. Um, the Sputnik takes us to the space race. Um, so everything has a, uh, a time and a flavor. Uh, the Hot Toddy is a 1920s uh, kind of uh, Keystone Cops, Who Done It, Run Around, Speakeasy. Again, so we've even dealing with prohibition. Uh, we have a boiler maker that tells of the dangers of overindulging. Um, so every dance, when you come into it, you get a little bit of a, a history lesson as well as an entertainment. Um, so it's sophisticated, but fun. Um, and that's what we're going for. And again, it's gonna be Saturday, October 28th at seven o'clock at the Imperial Theater.